Hi, this is Kenny Martin for Photo Training for You, and today we're going to be starting a brand new series on Photo Training for You called the Studio Doctor. Uh, just to give you a little background into the Studio Doctor, um, it was an idea that I came up with a couple of years ago, and the basic premise is to go into uh, studios that are ailing in some way, whether it be business, whether it be um, lighting, whether it be posing, or whatever it might be, and I'm going to go and diagnose the problem, problems, find out exactly um, how the studio can be helped, and hopefully implement some ideas uh, into the studio which will um, help with the problems that they have. It's, it's a simple premise, very similar as opposed to um, Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares or Mary Queen of Shops or whatever it's called. The, the first thing I noticed was um, that um, there's a sign around the corner which is very big and dominant in the white wall and that was actually the sign that we saw when we came along the road. However, we got slightly confused when we looked at the front of the shop because we weren't entirely sure whether it was a bridal shop or whether it was a photographer's. And we weren't entirely sure which, which door to come in. Um, and we tried a couple of different doors and um, eventually ended up going through the wedding shop, which is apparently what most people end up doing in any case. Uh, perfect. <laughs> um, we've just arrived in, um, in Ben's little kind of reception area. This is the, the first place that the customers come in. They either come through the wedding shop, um, into here or, or through the side door, there's, there's two entries into the studio. First impressions, um, it's a bit messy. It's a bit, you know, a big boiler here and this big display thing here. And I've got to be honest, Ben, all these things here, real food, beauty offers, whatever this thing is. Go-karting. Go-karting, you know, these are all promoting other people. Yeah. This is your business, so so you, you did no face-to-face -face selling at all? We did, um, not very often, but it was all on the laptop. Right, so, so you're looking at small uh, pictures in any case. Yeah. They might as well have been doing a home view. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, the projection's definitely the way to go, um, even more so than a TV screen, just pure physically the size of the, the screen. It's made a big difference. Yeah, yeah. Um, however, you did mention to me earlier on that your biggest sale was, or your biggest item that you sell is what? Desk portraits. Not one there? Yeah. Wonder why that is? Because it's the only thing we've got in here. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to decide which ones you're actually going to put up. But some of the products are just extraordinary and the prices are, are, are incredible. I mean, this here, and you can imagine these by the way, you can imagine all these pictures. This is a canvas um, fine art wrap that they do. 20 inch, fully finished, ready to hang, £45. It's just extraordinary yeah. value for money. I mean, I couldn't do that myself for that money at that quality, you know. Yeah. The thing that really sticks out is £150. Now, when I looked at that, it says experience the magic of family portraiture and it's a big black £150. I thought, and I know how it works, I thought that I was going to have to pay £150 right. to get the family portraits done. Yep. Um, thank you for tying the knot, which is the name of the company, is that right? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This voucher entitles you to a family portrait experience and frame desk portrait with a combined value of £150. It still doesn't really give me any indication whether I've got to pay that £150. You do weddings, even though you're not 100% confident yet, but you will be, and you're in a wedding shop. So why there isn't some absolutely direct link, some special thing we can do with the, with the thing. So what I'd like to do, what's the woman's name, what is it? Gail. Gail. Uh, if possible, at some point today, let's talk to Gail on camera and see if we can uh, do a couple of things. Um, we're now in Gail's um, beautiful wedding shop, um, Tying the Knot. Tying the Knot? Tying the Knot. Tying the Knot. Um, and it's Gail who um, has rented space for Ben to open his studio through the back. Um, it's a kind of strange situation because Ben's customers have to walk through the shop or most of them walk through the shop to get there but I suppose in some ways that's actually a benefit for you really isn't it because it you're getting people in the shop that maybe wouldn't normally be yep. in your shop so at least it's giving you exposure. My thoughts were if he had a special wedding price list purely for your customers yep. which had a, a really smashing package on it which included two or three different things, album, DVD, as a package so that every bride that comes in to get a, to get a dress gets this thing for Ben. Yep. Because as you say, you're the first and he's a few down the line yep. before they do that. 
Would you be up for that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it could be really cool. It'll yeah. fill them up with, you know, good quality weddings, and your customers are getting a really good deal, but it would only be for your customers. Yeah. And now we're going to get into the studio, uh, because one of Ben's um, things that he wanted to try and get sorted uh, was the variety in the session. I think uh, I'm all right in saying you, you kind of felt kind of constrained in here about the amount of stuff you could yep. actually yep. do, um, and I feel it's the opposite. I feel there is actually quite a scope really to do different stuff. You were telling me I think that you're kind of predominantly doing kind of high key stuff in the white right. background and no really knowing what to do after that. Yep. So uh, what I would like to do, if you don't mind, is I would like um, we've got Nicola who's going to come in just now, who's Ben's wife, and she's going to just act as a model for us. And I want you, if that's okay, to, to, to kind of start the session, just to show me what you do, and then kind of where you get stuck. Okay. And then hopefully I can maybe come in and say, you know, let's try this, let's try this. Okay. And so you can see how the inconsistency of these background lights from yeah. the way that that's on in the back there. You're, you're not getting that. You see, and the reason <coughs> she, Nicola, you're standing here, that light's actually aiming here. Yeah? It's not light in the middle. No, no. You should really be having that. If you're having it like that, more so it's no spilling on her, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But more in here, so that you're actually filling in, you know, the penumbra, the lights in the middle here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. the edge, because that's why you're getting that inconsistency in the lights. So you have to go. You're going to have to go back into Photoshop and clean it up, particularly up as you were photographing primarily uh, three quarter length of head and shoulders. Yeah. So that's spilling onto her now, which you don't want. But just about there. So just take one shot there for me, just to let me see half half length if that makes any difference. Right? Yeah. You see the difference? It's completely now filled in that white, so you've no work in Photoshop to do. But it's no spilling onto her. Right? So just think about where your light position is. Yeah? There's a pop. Eleven. Love it, just look up to the light. That's magic. Love it. Eyes back to me. Beautiful. Drop the chin. Beautiful. Now, how simple. Fantastic. And we've not even touched with the black yet. Yeah. So hold this. So Ben, the, uh, in terms of variety, do you now kind of believe that you could get a bit more variety than you're, yeah, than you're using definitely. at the moment? I mean, what we did there was, uh, you know, we started off with a high key, two background lights, fill light, and main light. Very, very kind of traditional lighting setup, 5 to 1-ish kind of ratio between the fill light and the main light. And we can ru run off loads of stuff with that. We then switched the um, background lights off and we did the grey background, just be using the white background. Again, some shots for that. We did on the floor, looking up, so you get a really dramatic angle. Um, we then did the traditional by moving the light round and getting the two thirds and the full face and the profile. We then brought the red down and photographed shooting through a soft box with just a silver, using it like a ring flash, really fresh looking. Um, we did um, more traditional style with this by using the light to the side. We used spotlight on her face. And now we've used two soft boxes side by side on the black background. So the variety you've got in here is going to fill an album. It's going to look great in some of these really modern products that you've, you know, the, yep. these uh, Loxley new products. And just a really good session. Yeah. Get the variety in the session. The more variety in the session, the more chance of selling an album, the more chance of getting the big sales. All right. Um, thank you very much. Um, I've been Kenny Martin for uh, Photo Training for You. Um, and Alias is a studio doctor. Uh, we've been at Ben Whitehead Studio. Uh, we've had a great day. I uh, loved it. Can't wait till the next one. And we'll see you next time.